What's going on, beautiful people? It is I, your favorite Dimply Chocolate best friend, and I'm back with another video. Happy Wednesday. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are having an amazing day. Today is Wednesday, so of course we're talking weight loss. We're talking all of the things that have to do with my body. I have some updates for you guys as it pertains to my gallbladder and things like that. But I also want to talk to you guys about my mental health today because that has kind of been kicking up for me a little bit more as of late. So yesterday I had an appointment with the surgeon about my gallbladder and he recommended that we remove that thing. So Tiger is getting evicted on the 27th. Can we clap it up for Tiger getting evicted on the 27th? You know, I'm ready for him to go. You know what I'm saying? Especially today because it's like he got the notice on his door last night that I won the court case and he knows he has to leave in two weeks. So he's acting a fool right now. I'm really struggling right now trying to push through this video, but we're going to get this video done. Tiger is getting evicted on the 27th of the month. So that means I have 15 days until Tiger is out of here, okay? And that's all that I can think about. That's all that matters. So the next thing on my list is something that is on my goal list, and that is my steps. I'm thinking about doing virtual marathons. I've been doing Ring Fit, and to update you guys on that, that's a really good video game. If you have a Nintendo Switch, I highly recommend it. Um, it gets you moving, and it kind of get you moving at your own pace you know because i told you guys i'm super out of shape right now so i've been doing it since i got it i've had it for about a week now and i've done it four times and it is just a really great video game to exercise with and i'm busting a sweat like i'm literally up in my room sweating like i'm in the gym or something you know what i mean so it's a really good game to have um in your arsenal if you are looking for ways to incorporate fun into your workouts which is something that i'm looking into um but I do want to get into virtual marathons, though. Um, I was looking at the Mount Fuji virtual marathon. I'll try to find it and put a link in the description if I can find it. But um, it's ultimately, I think, somewhere between 30 and 40 miles. But you don't have to do that, you know, at one point time you know what i'm saying it's a cumulative thing so you can do it over a series of i think up to 78 weeks or something like that but i'm thinking about doing it um over the course of a set amount of days so whatever the the you know mileage is if it's 38 i want to do it over 38 days or something like that you know what i'm saying and then you get a really cool medal if you do it and all that stuff so that's kind of an incentive i've also been looking at the run disney uh virtual marathons because if y'all can't tell you know i'm a disney person um and um yeah, what else have I been looking at? Yeah, it's just a ton of virtual marathons that I've kind of been looking into, you know what I mean, saying to just incorporate more movement to get closer to the 6,000 steps. Now, what I can say is I have been averaging somewhere around 5,000 steps a day um, and moving a way more than I was in 2020. So that is something that's important to me. But I figure, you know, taking on a virtual marathon plus incorporating Ring Fit into my day would just give me more of an opportunity to get those steps up and to get closer to the 10,000 that I want to get to. But I have been averaging about five every day. I think I've walked 5,000 steps every day this year aside from one day plus today because I've been in bed because my stomach is killing me. But that's a whole nother topic. Ultimately, I do want to start attacking that 10,000 step goal. Now, um, once I have the surgery, I'll be down for about two weeks um, resting and relaxing. Uh, initially, the first three or four days, uh, the surgeon told me would be the hardest ones. But after that, I can kind of start to feel normal a little bit more and start to get back to normal. So um, my goal is to start to incorporate more walking um, at the further along the healing process that I get. So. Yes, I would like to start the virtual marathon then, but I think that might be biting off more than I can chew. So I'll wait till maybe about a month after surgery, so the end of February, and then I'll start the virtual marathon things. But I'll update you guys along the way as I, you know, as I figure it out. So now we can talk about my mental health. Um, as of late, Tiger has been playing with my head a little bit. Um, it's getting to the point where it's, I feel like it's kind of wearing on me having, you know, gallstones and things like that because I'm it's, it's getting to the point where I don't even want to drink water now. And that's something that I just, I, I, I don't know how to deal with, you know what I mean? I find that I'm starting to beat myself up about this process and I don't want that to be the case. I want to, you know, continue to move forward and I want to continue to 
do what I'm setting out to do. Um, I'm trying my best to be patient and create a space where I don't judge myself for the mistakes that I make because I've been trying more foods and I've been trying to eat more stuff and it's just been upsetting my stomach and then I feel guilty because I'm like, why did I even try that? Um, it's like the salads just opened a little window for me to say, oh, maybe I should try, you know, some fried chicken, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, why would you do that? Your gallbladder was affected and fatty foods is the worst. <sighs> I know. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying not to beat myself up about it. And I'm trying to be patient. So if you are on a weight loss journey, please be patient with yourself because this is a process that is going to be for the rest of your life. This is not a short thing. Even if you lose 20 pounds, you can very easily gain it. This is a process that is going to be taking place for the rest of your days. I will be on a journey. And I'm not going to say weight loss because I will be on a journey to better myself for the rest of my days. And, um... That's just something that I'll never give up on. That's something that I'll never throw the towel in. I spent the better part of 25 years of my life just out here wilding out and doing what I wanted to do and drinking excessively. So now I'm at the stage where I just want to pour more into my health and treat myself better and do better and just feel better. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel amazing, aside from Tiger, of course, but I feel amazing, you know what I'm saying, in this stage that I am. But I just wanted to send a little bit of an encouragement to you guys and say, take time to just be patient with yourself. This is something that you are learning. This is not something that you know. Even if you've been doing this as long as I have, this is a learning process. We are learning ourselves every day and we just have to be patient and love that little person that's inside of you. Just be patient with them and sit and listen to yourself as often as you possibly can. So... Yeah, I just wanted to drop that little jewel. This video is super short because, like I said, I'm going to spend the day in bed playing some Switch because my stomach is murdering my life today. And uh, I just did want to stick to the schedule and get this video uploaded, though. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If nobody has told you today, I love you so, so much. And you need to be here for me if for no one else. And uh, don't forget to take care of yourself because if you don't, nobody else will. And I will catch you guys on Friday, hopefully feeling much better. Love you so much.